In this video, we are going to go over how to complete a division problem when we have a decimal in our divisor. <coughs> so this process is actually pretty simple. There's not there's not that much to it. The only thing we really have to do is is at the very beginning. Um, so what we do is, and for all the practice problems we're going to do today, if you have the companion assignment, um, we will only have one decimal place in the divisor that we're dealing with. But the rule I'm going to show you will apply to any. So basically all you do is you have to make the divisor into a whole number. All right, and so the easiest way to do that is just, just shift the decimal to this last spot here. <coughs> now because I moved the decimal one place here to the right, then what I'm dividing, I need to also move one place to the right. And so my new problem becomes 553 divided by 23. And then I just complete the division as normal. So 23 will go into 55 twice. 2 times 23 will give me 46. And then I have to complete the subtraction, which will give me 9. Pull down my 2, and then I have to figure out how many times 2 will go into excuse me, 23 will go into 92, and I'm going to, I'm going to do it by 4 over here on the side. I think that's going to be correct, but I don't want to put that in there yet until I check. Yep, so it's going to go in 4 times, so 24, or excuse me, 4 times 23 gives me 92, and I get no remainder. So my answer here, because my decimal is just going to shoot right up and go straight up, is going to be 24. But all I had to do here was just shift my decimal over until this, until what I'm dividing by, my divisor, is a whole number. All right, let's go ahead and do the next one. So again, I've got just one decimal place here in my, in my divisor and the number I'm dividing by that I have to deal with. So I'm just going to move it over one place. And however many places I move it over here, I have to also move it here. So one place here one place here. And so my new problem is 2,898 divided by 46. And now I'm just going to complete the division. So how many times will 46 go into... Well, it won't go into 2. It won't go into 28. So I'm looking at 289. Um, I'm going to try... I'm going to try 6 over here off to the side. That may be too much, but let me... Let me try. So 6 times 6 is 36. No, that's going to be just fine. So we'll do a 6 right here. 6 times 46, I've just calculated, is 276. Complete my subtraction. And I pull down my 8. How many times does 46 go into <coughs> 138? I'm thinking it's going to be 3, but I'm going to do the multiplication off to the side first, just to be sure. And that works. Now all of these problems, you should get no remainder. So if you're getting no remainder, then, then you've done your computation correct. If you are getting a remainder, you probably made a multiplication error somewhere in here. All right, let's go ahead and do one more. Again, I'm just going to look and see. I need to make this into a whole number, so I've got to get rid of the decimal. So I'm just going to move the decimal over as many places as I need to. In this case, it's just one. So I move the decimal one place here, which means I need to move my decimal one place here. And so my new problem is 3,864 divided by 69. All right. Um, 69 into 386. I know it won't go into 3. I know it won't go into 38. So now I'm looking at 386. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to calculate for 5. It will go in 5 times. I'm not sure how close that's going to be. No, that should be okay. All right, so 45, carry the 4, 30, plus, so that would be 345. So that works. Pull 
pull down my 4 here, and so how many times does 69 go into 414? I'm thinking, I think that's going to be 6 times, but let's do the math and check. So 9 times 4 is going to give me 54, 6 times 6 is 36, plus 5 is 41, so yes it is. So again, I get no remainder on this. <coughs> so the division part, the only thing we're really changing is just moving that decimal over so that this gives me a whole number. Now all the practice problems that you're going to get on this companion assignment, they all just have one decimal place you have to deal with. So we're just moving it over one place. Um, 